In your strength, O Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. Today in the Diocese of Brentwood is the feast of Saint Sebi, King of the East Saxons, born in 664. He lived a life of great austerity, penance, and charity towards the poor. We're told that just before his death, he renounced the throne and became a monk, and in fact established the first monastery at Westminster. And he reigned as king, of course, in this part of East Anglia. Holy Mass is offered for the repose of the souls of John and Pat Moon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your saints have given us an example and brought us protection in our weakness to help us tread the path of salvation, mercifully grant that we who honour the heavenly birthday of blessed Sebi may, through his example, make our way to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. From Paul appointed by God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus, and from our brother Timothy to the saints in Colossae, our faithful brothers in Christ. Grace and peace to you from God our Father. We have never failed to remember you in our prayers and to give thanks for you to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, ever since we heard about your faith in Christ and the love that you show towards all the saints because of the hope which is stored up for you in heaven. It's only recently that you heard of this when it was announced in the message of the truth. The good news which has reached you is spreading all over the world and producing the same results as it has among you ever since the day when you heard about God's grace and understood what this really is. Epaphras, who taught you, is one of our closest fellow workers and a faithful deputy for us as Christ's servant. And it was he who told us all about your love in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever. I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever. I am like a growing olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever. I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever. I will thank you forevermore, for this is your doing. I will proclaim that your name is good in the presence of your friends. I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever.
Alleluia, alleluia. The word of the Lord remains forever. What is this word? It's the good news that has been brought to you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Leaving the synagogue, Jesus went to Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever and they asked him to do something for her. Leaning over her, he rebuked the fever and it left her. And she immediately got up and began to wait on them. At sunset, all those who had friends suffering from diseases of one kind or another brought them to him, and laying his hands on each, he cured them. Devils too came out of many people, howling, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. When daylight came, he left the house and made his way to a lonely place. The crowds went to look for him, and when they had caught up with him, they wanted to prevent him leaving them. But he answered, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns too, because that is why what I was sent to do. And he continued his preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of Blessed Sebi, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you. As without end we acclaim, Holy.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church. And recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ, may make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Sebi and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people who have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live <coughs> and reign for ever and ever. <coughs> the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us show each other a sign of peace. <coughs> Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you besides, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of Blessed Sally, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Christ. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send the fastness, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. To then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy Lord Jesus, clement, loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust out into hell Satan and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, our Lady of Saint Joseph, Saint Seven, Holy Guardian Angel. 